talk about uh, sweat management. I've talked about it a lot uh, in winter conditions, but uh, I haven't really talked about it in summer conditions. And you can see it's uh, May 2014. And you can see by the mercury, hopefully you can see that. That uh, it is dang hot out here. San Diego's on fire. A lot of heat related injuries. And uh, I'm out here in my awesome uh, Army Trainers t shirt and base layer. Very important. So, uh, once we get to where we're going, take our break after an hour. Oh, cool. Anyway, once we uh, once we take a break at our hour uh, at our hour midpoint, then uh, we'll get back with you. ASO layering. You guys probably seen that I'm wearing a silk weight base layer. What? And you saw the temperature. It's like close to 100 degrees. It's about 100 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, 40 Celsius. And uh, yeah, I'm layered. Um, I've spoken about in in uh, winter uh, outings about uh, sweat management, and uh, now even more so that summer's creeping up on us. It's the middle of May. And uh, I'm out here in, the, in a uh, non-cotton t-shirt. This is a synthetic t-shirt from REI and an Equix Level 1 uh, silk weight uh, long sleeve shirt. And what this does in the desert, if, if you're working in the desert and, uh, and you're sweating, if you, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, it's hot, let me take off my shirt, let me take off my t-shirt. And what happens is, uh, in the desert where it's dry, your body will perspire and the wind and the air in the dryness will evaporate uh, the moisture as it's coming out of your pores, not really giving it a chance to have a cooling effect. But what works better is to have something to capture your perspiration and have it actually line along your body, right? Line along your body, thereby uh, cooling it. So uh, that's what the, the base layer does in the desert. So while here you can't see any sweat stains per se, maybe around here where the shirt has come in contact with uh, the shoulder pads forcing it onto the base layer area. But if I was to stick my hand, I don't know if you could see this, but my base layer is completely soaked, okay? Uh, I sweat a lot anyway, but um, this helps to regulate my core temperature and in the desert wind, this cooling effect, this moisture in my base layer has a cooling effect as the wind blows and that uh, perspiration. The base layer, what it does is it takes the perspiration and spreads it throughout the whole garment so that it'll even start uh, coming down the, the sleeves. And as that breeze blows, you'll get uh, the perspiration will evaporate causing that uh, cooling effect like on a can of Coke or something like that. Anyway. That's why the base layers. Break is over, time to roll.